machen. Alright, I'm interrupting this video to take a just a moment, a very short moment, um, to thank all of my subscribers and supporters that watch these videos. Um, honestly, I'm only at 503 subscribers, but that's way more than I had ever thought I'd get to. Um, I am grateful for every single one of you. I know some of these videos are a little choppy, a little messy, um, and it's probably pretty hard to follow along, but I am trying my best with, I got obviously this new GoPro camera, and I'm still, I, I got a computer now, I used to do YouTube videos on my phone with iMovie, but now I'm kind of changing pace with using the GoPro and a laptop, so everything's a learning curve, but hopefully you guys stick around and I can get better at editing and all that fun stuff, but yeah, I never thought I would make it this far in the YouTube realm of things, so I'm going to keep pumping videos out, whether they're good or bad or in between. So hopefully you guys are enjoying what you see, and like I said, I am trying my best to uh, edit them and uh, get those out to you. Anyway, today I'll show you what the problem is and what we're working on. Well, it's my Silverado, okay? Um, basically we're going to be replacing the fog lights and they were working fine, but this one does not work anymore and I'll show you why. See this tire here? This tire picks up stuff off the road, whether it's moisture, snow, salt, slush, and it throws it around. Okay? Imagine that. Now what we have in here is a splash shield or inner fender, whatever you want to call it. Well, when I put the 24 by 14s on, even with the lift kit and the torsion bars cranked all the way up, it still catches it and it breaks it and rips it off. You can see how there's nothing here. That's fine. The problem is all that shit the tire throws up hits the fog light and these fog lights are not waterproof. They should be, but they're not. Remember how to get them out. So this is what I'm running for a fog light. You can see the issue. Even though it's a weather pack connector, we're gonna have to clean that connector out too. You see that? Even though it's a weather pack connector and these are supposed to be waterproof, they're not waterproof. So we're gonna try to fix this today. Um, I've got the splash shield in. I'm going to replace the splash shield. I don't think I'll have to remove the tire because of the lift kit, but for you, you may have to uh, jack it up and remove it. But we're going to take out these fasteners. There's one here, up along here, and then you have this plastic one here, fastener, fastener, and then somebody, <clears throat> we're not going to name any names, but put the self tapper in there to hold it away from the tire. So yeah, the other side is fine somehow but not this side all right let's see what size we need these are small bastards like sevens with the adapter of course try to get these uh see if these ones removed hopefully you guys can see it Oh yeah. Got 
put this on low. I don't want to snap them off. Oh, we can turn the wheel to get that one out. Uh, this one looks like a 10. Sure is. Oh, look at that. Already? Pop this clip off. If this, if this is going to go that easy, then uh, this will be a short video for you guys, which is rare for me. Pop the center out, and then pull that out. Okay, we have one little uh, deal down here. You could use a screwdriver, but why? Okay, I'm pretty sure all that stuff's supposed to be clipped to it. I'm pretty sure all of this stuff is supposed to be clipped into that. But for some reason it's not. It's just laying on top of it, which is fine. Now's a good time to change the manifold. Get right to it. I'm sure none of those bolts are broke. Oh, there's one broke off. Anything else broke off? Normally the back ones break. I can't see the back one. Probably means it's not there. Yeah, the front one's broke. Okay. Ooh, there's my plow mount bolts. That would have been easier to get to than doing it the way I did. Hmm. Yeah, still a little bit muddy in here from the pipeline that I wasn't on. I bought the truck like that. Let's go look at our new uh, splash shield. See how fun that'll be getting in there. New splash shield. There. That's how it's supposed to cover things. Okay, we'll start getting our little fasteners started. Actually, we can put this one in. It should hold it up for a little bit. Oh, there's one stuck in there. Nice. Freebie. Okay. Hopefully I can still get the fog light when this is in. I should be able to. I'll be fine. This was like really cheap too. This was like, I'd have to look at my cart. Like 30 bucks, something like that. And what I really want to buy is they make uh, splash shields for the rear. You know, they just fit in there. I wish they came with them factory, but you know, that'd be too much money. Nice, nice. Somebody had beat the fender in. We're not gonna point any fingers. The guy did that. It'll definitely help protect the fog light for sure.
don't mind the wire sticking out of the door. That's for the plow mount controller. Again, we don't worry about things like that. just going way too easy. This is gonna rub the tire. Unless I fold it back under there. Perfect. Hold that there for a little bit. Why turn, get in and not do all the effort turning the tire when you can just round it off. I may have to turn the tire. Okay, that's that, that, and that. Where did our freebie go? There it is. Where does the freebie go? There was one there. Is there one supposed to be here? Oh, I can put one here. Keep everything protected. Keep the fender from rusting. I said stay up there. It's supposed to be another plastic clip there, but that's fine. Maybe I should have put that one. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, let's turn turn the truck on, start the engine, turn the wheel so we can get to that and then see where it's gonna hit. Oh, well, it's gonna hit it all. So I put the wide wheels on. This one? Can you guys see it? This is the best light that I have found so far. I've been running these things for years and they're cheap, like super cheap. And they're really bright, unless I get water into them and then they're not so bright, but protect them from the water and you shall be fine. Let's see if our first guess was the right one. It was. So these would fit the truck, these are yellow. They're like uh, 3,500 Calvin. Calvin? All right, let's see if we can clean up this wire some. Oops, I just whacked you guys. Uh, I need to really need to pull that pin out of there, but I ain't got the pin, the pin tool to do so. I'll tell you what we can we're gonna do. So I've got is that a leak? Oh it's condensation driven from the exhaust. So what I'm gonna do is we've got like torch tip cleaners. It's what you use to clean your cutting torch tips and some of that um, electrical cleaner that we used on the Volvo in my last video. And we'll just try to use a torch tip cleaner and some of that spray and uh, clean that up. I couldn't find the torch tip cleaners. Dang it! So we're just going to blast it with this, I guess. I guess.
That did okay. I really like to scrub that thing, but working with what I got, which isn't much. Okay. We'll go ahead and put our new fog light in. Not this one, I was just looking at it. These are nice because they they have this pigtail you can tuck it up in. Oxido. A-U-X-I-T-O. Best one I've found so far. Uh, you guys won't be able to see it, but you just basically, maybe you guys can see, probably not, just push it in. In there, it's in there. In there like swimwear. Then we'll just plug this in. Tuck that up out of the way. And we'll put our other one in, our other fog light. And these are, oh, they're 3000 Kelvin. And these are 5201, 5202, H16 style. This one wasn't out, so I didn't bother with it. Like it wasn't broken. Yep, no corrosion. Just push it in. Wait for it to snap. There's that. Plug it in. Tuck that out of the way. And that's about it. See if they work. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, now we're back in business, baby. Look at that. Nice and bright. They just, they work well. Yeah, minus the water, of course. Splash shield looks good. Wish this would stay tucked. So it'll eventually not be folded in. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That should protect that light from getting water on it, I hope. And then uh, keep rocking these things. I'll show you with all the lights on, headlights. That's just the color I like. I like the uh, 6500 Calvin and then the 3000 Calvin. Kevin? Who's Kevin? And why is he different colors? But yeah. I'm happy with that. We're back back in business. No more uh, one light wonder on the fog lights. All right, I'm gonna work on getting this mess cleaned up that we have created, and by we, I mean I. And uh, that's gonna be it for this video. It was pretty simple, wasn't it? It's a real short video. You guys aren't used to that at all. Everything looks good. I mean, of course, yours are probably gonna have all the hardware and stuff, but I'm happy with it. And for the price, uh, let me get the let me get the actual price. Okay, the price on this thing with shipping was thirty-two dollars and ninety cents, so thirty-three bucks. And you can have another uh, inner fender. Like I said, yours probably won't be unless yours has a lift kit on it. Then ignore what I'm about to say. But you may have to take the wheel off to make it a little easier. Jack it up. Take the wheel off. You know, just those. If you don't know how to do that, oh, well, you better start learning. But, all right. It's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a short one, but necessary. You know what I mean? So, thank you all for watching. Please remember to subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. I'm so thankful for how far we've grown. And I can't wait to keep growing and uh, do some more good stuff for you guys. So, until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.